Welcome to the Caro Show channel. Bailas. These trucks have always been associated with incredible size and enormous payload, but apparently this was not enough for the Belarusian designers, and they decided to create not just a big dump truck, but the most gigantic one in the world. The new Belas is capable of carrying a load of 450 tons. For comparison, let's say that this is equal to two and a half blue whales. 35 double-decker buses, and 300 Ford Focus. By the way, the Airbus of 380, the largest passenger aircraft in the world, weighs much less, only 277 tons. Bella 75,701. At the site of Bella 75,701, the question immediately arises why such a huge dump truck is needed, which seems to be not enough for a football field to turn around. It may be easier to carry cargo on two smaller trucks, instead of one monster capable of carrying 450 tons at a time. The answer to this question lies in the purpose of the new machine. Bellas is a mining dump truck. Its main task is to transport ore and other minerals. And when it comes to their extraction, it's not just every dollar, but literally every cent. We think it is not worth explaining that the cost of transportation on two trucks, albeit smaller in terms of carrying capacity, will in any case be higher than transporting the same volume of cargo with one truck. So if thanks to the new Bellas it is possible to save even a few cents on the cost of each ton of rock, this can have a serious impact on reducing production costs at mines that develop several of the largest deposits of coal, iron ore and copper, even with the cost of a new dump truck. Speaking of cost, if after watching this video you decide to buy yourself a Bella 75,710, then you will have to get as much as $6 million from the piggy bank. Although if you look at the characteristics of a super truck, then this figure no longer seems so prohibitive. Here are some facts about Bellas. The height of the monster is 8 and 17 meters. This is more than the height of the second floor of a thermal house. Widths 9 and 75 meters. The Luna Codley is 677 bus is only 78 centimeters long. Length 20 and 6 meters. The carrying capacity, as we have already said, is 450 tons. But during the tests, the dump truck transported a little more than 500 tons of cargo. By the way, the mass of the dump truck itself is also impressive. 360 tons. Thus, the total weight of a loaded machine is an incredible 810 tons. It is not surprising that with such parameters, Bell of 75,710 got into the Guinness Book of Records, and at once in several nominations. So this is without exaggeration the largest truck in the world. But back to the technical characteristics of the Miracle Dump Truck. Despite its huge dimensions, the tongue does not dare to call this Colossus clumsy. The turning radius is only 45 meters. Of course, the heart of any car in the new Bellas is no exception in this regard. This is its engine. 710 have as many as two. These are huge diesel engines that are located transversely. The power of each is almost 2332 horsepower or 4664 in total. But the most interesting thing is that these motors have nothing to do with the movement of the car. The fact is that the new Bellas is a hybrid car. That is, its wheels are driven by traction motors, and diesel engines are needed to turn the generator turbines that produce current for them. In addition to generators, diesels also power hydraulic systems. By the way, if you thought that the electric drag makes the Bellas slow moving, then you are mistaken. The speed of the monster can reach 65 kilometers per hour, which is not bad at all, especially given its size and weight.
Alternators generate alternating current for four electric motors installed inside the wheel hubs. A bunch of two generators and four engines is called a traction plant, but its manufacturer is not Belas, but Siemens. But now negotiations are underway with the Russian company Power Machines. Each of the electric motors has a capacity of 1200 kilowatts or 1630 horsepower. Therefore, the total power on the wheels reaches 6520 horses. In addition to the electromechanical traction unit, the braking system of the new Belas deserves special attention. You must admit that a Colossus weighing more than 800 tons cannot be stopped by conventional brake pads. So two brake systems are installed on a giant dump truck at once. The first is the usual hydraulically driven disc. And the second is electrodynamic. Here the actuator is the same wheeled electric motor. During the operation of this brake system, a huge amount of heat is generated, which must be somehow removed. Therefore, forced air cooling of the brake resistors is provided for in the design. But the know-how of Belarusian designers does not end there. One of the most interesting mechanisms is perhaps the undercarriage of the dump truck. Strictly speaking, it is a dependent pneumatic hydraulic with a built-in hydraulic shock absorber. Thanks to anti-roll bars, the dump truck almost does not heal under load while maintaining a high ride smoothness. Inside the giant shock absorbers are nitrogen and oil. There is one more feature of the chassis of the Bellas, which however, only the most sophisticated motorists will notice. The fact is that the front and rear axles are exactly the same. The question involuntarily arises, how does this Colossus turn? The secret lies in the fact that both bridges on Bella's 75,710 are controllable. Two cylinders here play the role of a kind of steering rods. This is not a very precise definition, but it is understandable. Otherwise, the steering is almost traditional and hydrous around with a conventional steering column in the cockpit. And of course, talking about the undercarriage cannot be completed without mentioning the giant wheels of the new dump truck. What tires are on your car? Belas has 59. The developers have tried to make traction motors in such a way that repairs and maintenance are possible without removing the wheels. It is very important, especially for those who will operate these dump trucks. It is impossible to remove a wheel without a crane, and each such simple one costs a lot of money. Well, for dessert, let's look into the cockpit of the monster. Although no, you still need to climb up to it, and the stairs for climbing to the deck and this is exactly what the platform next to the cabin is called, occupies not one, but two whole flights of stairs. So the operators, the driver of the monster, it is customary to call it that way, is guaranteed not to gain excess weight. There is no elevator in the car, at least for now. Cabin doors open against the direction of travel. There is some sense in this. So it is more convenient to sit in the driver's seat and the passenger too. Inside in general, everything is more or less standard, except maybe three pedals on the floor. At first it may seem that the third pedal is a clutch, but the new Bellas does not have a box at all. Why is it needed? It's actually just another brake pedal. In the center, as it should be, is a conventional hydraulic brake pedal, and instead of a clutch lever, an electrodynamic brake pedal. Otherwise, Everything in the cab is the same as in most other trucks and dump trucks. On the one hand, this is a bit disappointing, because you expect some kind of futuristic design from a supercar, although in fact it is very convenient, because the more intuitive the controls, the better. And finally, I would like to note the incredible reliability of the new Bellas. 
Not only is it easier and safer to accelerate a car with an electromechanical transmission, but there is practically nothing to break. No rubbing parts, no floors and wear. They say Belaz are able to drive at least 900,000 kilometers in a quarry, but in reality they serve more than a million. As we said earlier, Belaz 75,000, 710 is the largest truck in the world. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to press a like button and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. See you soon.